Yeah. The first sample. Prepare the royal baggage. Okay. <laughs> um, this whatever this is got like some booze in it. It, it, mm. it smell like a cocktail, like whiskey. Whiskey is in there. This is a whiskey note. I can't smell it from the atomizer, so you don't have to tell me what it's smelling like. Whiskey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, Jack Daniel. Straight up. Yeah. Oh man. Um, don't that. The ones that smell like fruit and bubblegum or not? Look, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's my private marker. <laughs> that's the stuff you huff. And you get a head out. I don't. So I've heard. So you heard? Yeah. Okay. I don't get her. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. This is a clean channel. It is. If they don't like it, it's just not for them. It's not a not likable fragrance. Is it weird to see me nodding and talking to a man in a, in a blindfold? <laughs> <laughs> Music festival by uh, by Maison Marge. I still haven't smelled that one. Patchouli and weed. It's <laughs> <laughs> hard for me to distinguish what this is, though. What I'm getting from it now. Yeah, I think this one's a lot better blended. Cause it's hard. It's harder to pick apart. Okay. Dre, do me a favor. What's up? Take half a step to the left. Half a step to. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. we frame. I think we was in frame the whole time. I just think uh, you was taking up a lot of the frame. And I was on the outside, just kind of hanging, hanging on. That's that's kind of the thing. That's this is just the Dre show. I'm I'm no, I'm I'm just I'm a big dude. Now, this is a small <laughs> shooting space, like. Today, I do have a guest with me from out of town. I got my boy Dre from Uncommon Sense in town. What's up? What's going on, y'all? So today, um, since Dre is in town, one thing that I wanted to do, I have some samples in from Jensen's line, Galleria Perfumes. Dre's gonna blind smell those fragrances. He's gonna let us know whether he would recommend them for you to try or to not and what he smells. So if you are more interested in finding out about Galleria Perfumes and what we think, please stay tuned. All right, y'all, so there's been a lot of talk about these fragrances in the community already. And one thing we want to do for this video is not talk too much about the notes, the pricing, but really just more so give you our impressions on the actual smell of the fragrance and whether it's something that we recommend. I personally have not smelled these myself as of yet. Uh, my friend Patrick over at Scent Assault sent me these. These were 10 mils. I guess he hit off what he liked. I know he bought a couple of bottles that he enjoyed and then he sent these over to me. So thank you, Patrick. And uh, you gave us some content for us to film. Definitely. So, Shout out to Patrick, because Patrick is the GOAT. Truly. My motherfucker. <laughs> That's my dude. <laughs> so what we're going to do, I'm going to ask Dre to blindfold himself. We're going to go one by one through the fragrances so he won't know which one he's smelling. He's going to smell them for the first time and give, him, um, give you all his first impressions. And I'll give you a little bit of my first impressions as well. All right. So if you don't mind, sir, you want to go ahead and get gotcha. blindfolded up. And I will yeah, prepare... Man. The first sample. Prepare the royal baggage. All right, so this is the one we're gonna start with, y'all. I'm just showing the camera, Dre. Let's go ahead and spray the little ghetto test strip. And here we go. Mm. I like that. Kind of smell like Aqua de Gel. Mm. The original. Mm -hmm. It's aquatic. I fuck with it. Fuck with it. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, what I smell exactly, but I'm sure it's a little bourbon. You definitely should be getting some citrus. Yeah, it's, it's kind of barbershop. -y. You think so? Kinda. Okay. It's it's a it's aquatic though. You know what I mean? Yeah. And look, I don't like, like aquatics. I know Dre knows I don't like aquatics. Yeah. A lot of y'all know I don't <laughs> like aquatics, but I could wear this. I think this is a wearable. Yeah. Uh, I would fragrance. wear this. I would definitely wear this. Okay. Overall thoughts on that one? We can come back when it dries down. Um, I, I can give you an overall thought. The original Burberry. Mm. It's kind of like that. Okay. It's kind of in that vein. A little herbal, but it's aquatic. It's 
scale of one to five, I give it a three and a half. Okay. I wear it. Okay. Yeah. Three and a half. All right, y'all. So that was Galleria Parfums by the Yuzu Grove. Mmm, Yuzu. The second sample ready is going to be this one. Pow, pow, pow. Here you go, sir. All right. Got it? Yep. Like. Really like. Reminds me of Ultraman. I kind of like popsicle juice. Mm -hmm. Sweet. It smell blue. If that make any fun. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is a solid four and a half. I would, I would wear the fuck out of it. Four and a half. I would wear them. This is, this is up my alley right here. This is, this, this is, this is the shit I fuck with. So out of the two um, that I've been seeing talk about the most, this is one of the two that I've been seeing talked about a lot. I believe this is one that Patrick Lee, uh, Patrick actually bought. This is Dreamwoods. Yeah. That's, yeah, I like it. Like it? Can yeah. I smell it? Yeah. what do you think? Oh yeah, that's nice. That's that's literally what Ultra Mall smells like. Uh, so we were talking earlier about how I haven't smelled Ultra Mall at all, um, but this is nice. It's sweet, yeah, a little bit fruity, like pear or plum. Mm -hmm. Ultra Mall has pear in it. Some some soft woods. Yeah. yeah. This is this is likable. I mean, yeah. I can definitely understand why people would, would like that DNA. Find it easy to wear, especially out at night clubbing. Yeah. It is. It's got that. It's got the characteristic like I can tell that's gonna last. It ain't going nowhere. Mm. So right, it better not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's one a lot of people have been liking. That is Dreamwoods. Yeah. I can see why though. It's got a mass appealing type of feel. Like you'd be hard pressed to see anybody be like I don't like this. If they don't like it, it's just not for them. It's not a not likable fragrance. Is it weird to see me nodding and talking to a man in a, in a blindfold? <laughs> 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 All right, y'all, next fragrance. This is going to be Shades. I'm not going to finish the title of it, uh, but this is going to be the next one. Yep. Hopefully, Dre don't know the, the names of the fragrances too well. Nope. To know what he's about to smell. So, <laughs> let me go ahead and get his sample ready. Got that one all up on my thumb. Yep. Here you go, sir. All right. Oh. Oh, okay. It smells very familiar. Uh, I can tell you exactly is, what this smells like. This, yeah, this is. Uh, don't tell me because we were talking about it earlier. It's, it's, this one is Layton esque. I would say it's pretty Layton esque as well. Yeah, this is very Layton esque. It's a. Uh, it's nice though. Uh, I can't pick out. I can't pick out the notes on it. It's it's, it's clean and grown. I like guess. I would expect whoever to wear this would drive like a Mercedes or a BMW. I can feel that. Yeah. I can feel that. I, I like that. Yeah. I, I would get that a solid four. I don't like it as much as... Uh, the previous one? I was going to say Blue Pops. Would you say? Uh, <laughs> I don't like it as much as that because I don't feel like I would be able to wear that as much as I would as the previous one. Got you. That one kind of has a special time, a special place. But what it does, it does well. I like that. Yeah. I would give it a four. This is nice. Yeah. I get Apple. I get... Maybe either like some lavender or maybe cardamom. I get some vanilla, some spices. It's really good. I ain't getting none of that shit. All I got was that it smelled good and like late. <laughs> hey. I think we are uh, in agreement in a way. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, this, this, I'm a guest on your show. You're the specialist today. This, this ain't about me. I'm, hey. just, I'm just the blind dog. Look, I'm, I'm no specialist. <laughs> this is my first time spraying these as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that one, I, I just got enough of a spray on my hands to where I was probably able to smell it gotcha. as much as you could. Gotcha. And uh, yeah, I mean, I get the latent vibes, but as you know, it's the DNA I really like. So yeah, I don't say BR540. I, I enjoy the like, fragrance. I'm stay with me. Oh, you, you smell some BR in that one too? Yeah. Okay. Um, if I didn't say the full fragrance, I can't remember if I did. That one is Shades of Seduction, and we'll have it on screen as well. Yeah. I Moving on, this is going to be the next fragrance. Okay. Y'all can see the stickers a little jacked up, so it'll be on screen as well. Let's get your sample ready. All right, Dre. Here you go, sir. All right. Um, this whatever this is got like some booze in it. It, it, mm. it smell like a cocktail, like whiskey. Whiskey is in there. This is a whiskey note. I can't smell it from the atomizer, so you don't have to tell me what it's smelling like. Whiskey. 
Okay. <laughs> Jack, Jack Daniel. Straight up. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, it's I'm a little funky in that, too. Like, whiskey and a real pungent, like, wood. Like, okay, better yet. Whiskey and the cork from a wine bottle. I think I just got a whiff of it. I definitely pick up the whiskey. I don't like that. If I had to rate that, that'd be two. I wouldn't. I would not wear that. You say the cork of a wine bottle? Yeah, something woody. Well, what I'm getting is like, you know, uh, like on a maker's bottle, kind of like that melty wax. wax. Yeah. yeah. Kind of waxy, kind of rubbery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whiskey. Nope. Not for me. For somebody. But it smells it's a -uh, very man. boozy. Not for me. I don't mind boozy, though. But that, not that one. So what kind of booze you like? Like, I'm what to drink or <laughs> to smell, to smell. Um, I don't got nothing in the crib. Is, is <laughs> that whatever that is? It's not a rich enough. I like a um, if it's gonna be boozy, it needs to be like deep and kind of sweet. Okay, you know what I mean. It can't just smell like alcohol. Right. And that smells like alcohol, not rubbing alcohol, but booze. Yeah. The shit they get you towed down. I feel it. Yeah. I'm getting like an empty maker's bottle. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't like booze, and then yeah. that that uh, not the plastic, the wax. Yeah, it's a it's a hell no for me. So we gonna go with a hell no on that one. Yeah. All right, just just I wouldn't wear it. You know, that was dust till dawn. Next one up. Now this is one that I'm personally interested in smelling because this is a note that um, it centers around a note that I'm trying to figure out if I love. Or just loving certain fragrances. So let's see what Dre thinks about this one. Boom. Mm. I'm definitely getting it from the atomizer. When you first gave it to me, it smelled like soy sauce. Oh my God. What is it, coconut? I can understand that. What is it, coconut? Is this smell like a cleaning product? It's uh, it's strong. Yeah. Um, and when I say strong, I don't necessarily mean in terms of CRs or projection, but strong in terms of this makes a, a statement. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't wear this mm -hmm. as it's state right now. It's kind of got a soil vibe too. Like it's it's a cleaning product, but it's natural. It's uh. Right. Like when you say soy sauce, I get what you're saying with soy sauce. Yeah. It's like soy sauce without the saltiness. Yeah. That. <laughs> Like uh, is I think it's called liquid smoke. When yeah. you're cooking, yeah, yeah that's that's what I remember. Something there. <laughs> I I wouldn't wear that. That's like a two. A two. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't wear that. I understand. This one, it's probably more of an acquired taste. So yeah. this is Victorian tobacco. I'm not the type of tobacco aficionado where I can tell you whether or not I'm getting tobacco in here. Yeah. I'm definitely getting something that's darker. Um. This is not for me. Yeah, I'm this not getting is, tobacco. I'm you're not getting tobacco? Yeah, I, I don't really get tobacco much from here. I do get somewhat of like a, I don't want to say chocolatiness, but it's something kind of thick and fudgy in here, but not sweet at all. What's the note in there that you like or you were thinking about like? What's the note that you're looking for? I was looking for tobacco. So, you know, tobacco fragrances is something I'm still exploring and trying to figure out, hey, do I love tobacco fragrances or do I just like tobacco fragrances? You know, because generally, as I'm exploring, I'm finding that a lot of fragrances with tobacco, I'm a fan of, but... Uh, Not that. This one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, this is the second to last sample. This is number six. We are going through the gallery of perfumes from Gent Scents. Hi, friends. <laughs> Here we go. Got okay, it? Got it. All right. There's something familiar about this. Mm. This is nice, though. I think there's supposed to be something familiar about this. Yeah, if I if I had to go out on a limb, I would say this reminds me of Perfuma, Aqua de Jean. Mm. A little bit. Okay. Not a dead ringer, but close. Something a little smoky. So I'm a little aquatic about it. It's a hint of sweetness. I would wear it. Okay. I'm gonna give it three and a half. Okay. It's right in the middle. It's cool. When, Leather. When would Leather. you wear it? Where would you wear it? When and where? Yeah. I will wear this springish. Like around there. 
Okay, I wear it around now. Where would I wear this? I would probably rock this on a date because it's, it's kind of it's mysterious enough, and I want I would want to intrigue somebody to, to learn more, lean in. I don't think this will be a major projector, so it won't be like off putting it. It'll be one of the ones you kind of get up on, but mm. right. Leather in here. It's leather. <laughs> I, did, I know it. It's leather here. Slightly cooler weather, maybe on a date. Okay. Yeah. And you said a four or three and a half? Three and a half for that one. Three and a half. Yeah. It's right in the, it's right in the middle, but it's more likable. All right, y'all. So this is Moving Times mm. by Galleria Parfums. So I didn't, you know, go over the, the write-ups or anything for these fragrances before we started filming, but I do remember this one was supposed to be like a mix of old school and new school. Okay. You know? Yeah. So okay. I definitely get that new school amber, um, sweet, slightly musky amber in the okay. base of it. Mm -hmm. um, Are you getting love though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to tell y'all flat out, y'all know me. Off the cuff and first impressions. I've not even like really looked into any of the Gent Sense line, but he's a dope dude, so I'm definitely excited to get my nose on these fragrances. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to Ash, man. I'm a big fan of your channel. You know what I mean? Actually, one of the, the channels that got me a little bit deeper in the fragrances, and surprisingly, one of the channels that my wife really likes. Oh, she has, she has great taste. She does have great taste. <laughs> she was like, I have these fragrance videos you're watching. This guy seems to know what he's talking about. I was like, this guy? <laughs> Ash? She was like, yeah. I was like, you know what, he, he kind of does. He does. He does. Yeah. You know? All right, so this is the last one. This is the one that I personally have been uh, most interested in smelling. Mm -hmm. um, and this is, I said there were two that were getting a lot of hype. This is the other one that I've seen getting a lot of attention. Um, I've seen people talking about this fragrance that I don't even think know that it is part of Jensen's line or from a fellow YouTuber. They've just been talking about it. Okay. So, all right, let's get your sample ready. Lay it on there. Here goes her. All right. Yeah. That's it. Like it. Remind me of pineapple sherbet a little bit. Pineapple sherbet? Yeah. Mm. Or like a pina colada. Okay. I like it. Now, it's something in here though that I ain't the biggest fan of. It's something astringent like. Mm. But it's some creamy fruit surrounding that make any damn sense. Okay. I mean, I would wear this. When would I wear this? I think this is probably more apt for spring going into summer. I think this is more of a warmer, fra warmer time fragrance. I think the heat will kind of get this one and move it around just nice. Hmm. I don't see this doing well in the winter. But okay. I got it wrong. Okay. And keep in mind, y'all, these are just the openings. Yeah, this is just the openings. I'm going to go through the. Uh, we, can, we can go through them for sure. Revisit. We'll revisit them. See if your scores change at all. See if any of your thoughts change on them. I would give this a three and a half. <laughs> okay. I give it a three and a half because I would wear it, but it wouldn't get as much play as the one I said that smell like Ultramar. Right. Um, nice pronunciation, by the way. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Who is number four? Which one? Which one did I give a four to? Uh, you gave a four to, I believe. Well, you, did you give a four and a half as well? Somebody got a nice, somebody did get a four and a half. Who was that? Okay, I think that was Dreamwoods. Is that the Ultramar one? Um, Ultramar one. Which I believe is the, yeah. Yeah. From what yeah. I just smelled, I think that's the Ultramar one. Okay. Whatever this is, it smells, it reminds me of like a, a pina colada. <laughs> I think you say it's a seduction to four. This, this, this don't sound so This sounds, this smells, reminds me of like a pina colada with permanent mark. So, that's interesting you say that because <laughs> What I wanted to say, and I don't know if maybe my hand kind of rubbed it off, mm -hmm. on the last one I was getting a little bit of a marker smell. Not in an off-putting way. Yeah, it's just it was, pungent. Is that yeah. what it is? Like chemically? It, it's just the way I think it hits your nose. It's just kind of like, yeah. like a permanent marker. Like, it could be one of the good smelling ones, you know what I mean? One of yeah. the colors. The, you know the folks give me a hard time because they say I'm always saying something either smell like hair products or something wild, but it, it smells like what it smells like. I'm gonna be honest with you. So when people say things smell like hair products or a certain lotion or whatever, that's really helpful to me because yeah. one thing that I think culturally, right? Yeah. We use a lot of products. We use a lot of hair products, a lot of moisturizers, a lot of a lot yeah. of all that, right? It's so like, it takes a lot of work to get this together. You feel me? Inches, inches. <laughs> so 
we might be a little bit more familiar with certain products. So if it smells to you, if it gives you off that vibe and you can relate that to people, that puts me more informed on the fragrance. That's all. That's it. So we smelled a lot of fragrances today. Yeah, and I can say that my nose, is, my nose is shot. I can't smell this. I can barely smell this. So I can't give you any of my opinions on this one. Where your coffee man? I got Wait, Bustello in the in the kitchen. What, why, why you ain't got it for your, your palate cleanse? You need that in between. Don't go get in there, but you know. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't really smell this, but this what? is the one I was most interested in. I might have to spray this one later on. This is Cognac Cafe. Oh, hold on. Let me turn it up. Let me turn it up. So is this the? This another one? No, this is the last one. It's the one you was just smelling. This is Cognac Cafe. Oh, okay. This is the permanent mark and pina colada. Yeah. It smell. It smell a little bit different now. Huh? So it's supposed to be cognac and coffee. Um, I guess I get the coffee. A little and bit. I get a little bit of the coffee. That's really all I get when I smell that. But keep in mind, my, my nostrils is beat up today. I can't hardly smell nothing. So that, that makes a lot of sense, though, when me saying it smells like a pina colada. Right. Like, because that's wrong, right? It's, it's some type of alcohol. Yeah. It's some type of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Okay. I like it. I wear it. And it reminds me, that to me reminds me of summertime. I don't know how that would be really cool. And, and the thing is, I mean, this is just based off the, the hints I'm picking up off paper. I can understand what you're saying with yeah. that because this does kind of have smooth, kind of like yeah. suntan lotion or just lotion vibes. Yeah. Summery lotion or something you would wear uh, to the beach. And, I, and keep in mind, I know that's not what Ash was probably trying to do with something like Cognac Cafe. And that's probably something that not a lot of other people are picking up on when they smell this fragrance because again this is supposed to circle around cognac and coffee right yeah but scent is subjective you know some people smell uh smoother deeper scents and they think fall and winter cold weather yeah sometimes you smell something smooth and it's like oh that's that's gonna summertime. be my spring summertime <laughs> joint you know yeah yeah i still can't smell this too well but based on a little bit of that i'm getting i, I definitely understand where you're coming at with that what did you score that one uh, that's like three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah, because I would wear it as just, I wouldn't wear it more than the one I gave the four and a half. Okay. Or the four. So outside of a couple outliers, and we're going to go through these again real quick on the dry down, and we'll get a final score. And this time, I'll make sure we put the score on screen so we can memorize it. Um, But we'll go through again, get a final score, see if anything changed since we just got the openings, all right? So once again, this is the first one that you smelled. Okay. I like this much better now. Mm, okay. Much better. You take a step back. Yeah. This this kind of reminds me of uh, Michael Kors' Strong Blue. Okay. A little bit. I like this. I don't remember what I scored it though. Okay. Well, what would you score it now? Just off the dry down and kind of what you can remember from before. I scored a four because I would wear this more than cognac coffee. Okay. Whatever that is. I like this. You know what? Boom. Perfect. That Zara Vibrant Summer Leather. That, that Vibrant Leather Summer? I mean, Vibrant Leather Cologne. That mixed with the Michael Kors Extreme Blue is what that is right there. Mm. That's nice. It's got musk in there. Musk and yeah. um, Calypso. If, if it's not Calypso, it's musk and whatever note that kind of tones up like melons. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That. That kind of nice. melony aquatic note. That's nice. I yeah. like it. This is nice. So this is by the Yuzu Grove 4 out of 5? Yeah. And just off my quick first impressions, I would probably agree. And that's from someone who's not into aquatics, but I am into citrus fragrance. Fragrances, I am into freshies. I love the blues. The aquatics, the blues, like, I don't know. I just think they made for me. Like, like I, I'm drawn to them, so. You know what? So this is kind of what, and I know that this is yuzu and not lemon. Yeah. But the way people hiked up uh, under the lemon tree. Yeah. This is more so what I would want from that type of fragrance. Yeah. Um, than what I actually got from by the lemon tree or under the yeah. lemon tree. This is just a much better citrus fragrance. I don't think opinion. they use they didn't use a lemon note though under the lemon tree. I think they used grapefruit. They, either way, it was under woman to me. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> yeah, I just like at the barbers and jazz club on my wife. My favorite is music festival. I still haven't smelled that one. <laughs> Patchouli and weed. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all you get. That's what I'm doing for the thumbnails. It's going to be a <laughs> picture of you. It's going to say patchouli and weed. <laughs> This is the second one that you smell. Okay. Boom. I'm, I'm trying not to tell you the names before you re-smell them. I don't want you to have any association. Yeah. 
This is nice. It's very esteemed, grown man. And the reason I'm gonna rate this, what I'm gonna rate is because this would be for special occasions. Mm. I would. This would not be one I'm, I'm wearing every day. This would not be one I'm wearing every week. This is a special occasion. Look at my Chanel Platinum Eagle East, low key. Are you, are you getting any of the um, Ultra Mall vibes? Little. It's, it's been toned down. Okay. It's it's in there though. It's like that that fuzzy pear vanilla. Yeah, I don't I don't know how often I wear this. So is it getting woodier, like cleaner? It's getting a slightly fruitier pear. Okay. Slightly more like vanilla. Okay. That open took me a different place than the dry down does. I wouldn't wear this as often. Cause what meanwhile it smells good. I feel like it's still kind of special, special occasion-ish. So I'll rate that, uh, I'll rate it a four. Four? Yeah, right. I still like it. Okay. I just wouldn't wear it that often. So the scores, are, they're starting to even out because yeah. as we went through the first impressions, outside of a, a couple outliers, <laughs> you was like 3.5, Yeah. right? They, they, he's consistent. Now we're coming up to a four. So the Usual Grove was at a four, Dreamwoods is at a four. This yeah. is Dreamwoods. The Usual one is at a four and a half then. I'm gonna try it down. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I would go. wear that one a lot more than I would wear. That was the dream woods. I would wear that. I would wear the Yuzu woods more than the dream woods. I'm with you on the dry down. Yeah. You know, I would wear the Yuzu more than the dream woods. Yeah. Period. But that's a personal taste thing. I think they both smell they do pretty smell good. good. Yeah, for sure. All right. So this is uh, the third one that you smell. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah, this is um, this is when I said it was late to ask, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I still maintain that. This is the BMW or the Mercedes brother. I didn't know I was liking, did you? Hey. <laughs> um, All those pronunciation videos are helping. These, I know, right? <laughs> this one, yeah, this one still to me is. I like how this one projects. It's this this makes a statement. It's, it's very present. Right. Damn, they all started kind of getting the same thing. Three and a half. Okay. I would wear it kind of thick, so mm -hmm. I would need a break from this. Is this a kill the ball? Yeah. Myrtle. <laughs> yeah. You said three and a half? Yeah. You sticking with three and a half? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I like this. I like this a lot. And Dre, I know Dre said this is Leighton esque, and I, um, I fully agree, Yeah. but that's not a negative thing. No, like not at all. That's just my point of reference for it. It's not a bad thing. I mean, I, I love the DNA and- I, I fucks with Layton. That smells damn good. Yeah. 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 All right, so the fourth one. You ready for this? What's that? Nah. No? Nah. Mm. It's not dirty now, like. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like that. See, that's the one. That's a two. Oh man. Yeah, nope. Okay. I don't need it. It's got some, this got some citrus in it. But it's something in here that's okay. earthy dirty. Okay. Like a lemon that you drop on the floor and it roll under the stove. Oh, so like, oh, oh like some lost, lost food. Yeah. I don't like it. Okay. Yeah. Hey, that's a two. That's all we need to know. I wouldn't wear that. This is a, you know what? I didn't get that when we first smelled this. But I get that now. Yeah. It's uh, it is you get that dirty fruit vibe that you would get in Terra Hermes or similar fragrances. See, I don't get dirty fruit from Terra Hermes. I get musky fruit from Terra Hermes. I get dirty fruit from the Bulgari Aqua Mara. Okay. Uh, I thought I was gonna like that, but I didn't like that. Got gotcha. you. It's kind of like that. Got gotcha. you. Like dirty rind. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that I can uh, earthy rind differentiate between the two, but I feel where you're coming from. Yo. Yeah. I. I'm not a big fan of this either. Um, this is uh, from Dust Till Dawn. You don't like it. All right, next one. I want to like this more. <laughs> you want to like it more? I do. Why? I don't know. Something in there that nope. intrigues me that I want to like, but then the rest of it I don't like. I'm still getting permanent marker in like a cocktail. Like literally somebody did a drink and put a permanent marker in. That's what this is. I smell coconut though. I don't know why. Is it coconut? I, in there? I don't know. I don't. I don't know the notes. I did not read the notes before we did this. I just wanted fresh sprays, completely blind. 
That's like a that's a tutu. I wouldn't wear this. Okay. I wouldn't want to smell like that. Yeah. Like that's not that ain't hot. Yeah, I'm not big on this one. So permanent marker. Magic marker smell good. Don't they? The ones that smell like fruit and bubble gum or not? Look, uh um, <laughs> <laughs> That's like permanent marker. <laughs> that's just, the stuff you huff. You I don't, get a head out. I don't So I've heard. So you heard? Yeah. Okay. I don't get her. Alright, thank you. Yeah. Alright, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. Um, this is Victorian tobacco. Yeah, nah. I don't get much tobacco from this. Um I went. You know, these are decants. So yeah. sometimes in, in transferring things, things happen. Yeah. I, I don't know, but I'm not getting much tobacco from this. And what I am getting, I'm I'm not really a huge fan of. I find myself getting more into sample sets like that. I've kind of slowed down on full bottles as much. Mm -hmm. I'm sample setting it out. I'm definitely sampling it out. Yeah. I need more sets. Okay. Lots of samples. Yeah. But I need more sets. Gotcha. Because people be like, oh, you like this from that house? Have you tried this one from that house? And I'm like, no, I, I have not. All right, second to last. All right. I would wear it, but not often. Mm -hmm. This is a solid three. It's in the middle of the road for me. Okay. I like it. Not a love. It's hard for me to distinguish what this is, though. What I'm getting from it now. Yeah, I think this one's a lot better blended. Cause it's it's, hard, it's harder to pick apart. Okay, Dre, do me a favor. What's up? Take half a step to the left. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. we in frame. I think we was in frame the whole time. I just think uh, you was taking up a lot of the frame. I was on the outside, just kind of hanging, hanging on. It's the Dre show. I'm a big dude. Now, <laughs> this is a small shooting space. Like this might look all right on YouTube, but Dre can see the rest of the room. I'm a big dude. I take up a lot of space. This is a small frame. <laughs> <laughs> We're wrong with that. <laughs> uh, 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 leather. Yeah. Yeah. Leather. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's the familiarity. It's a little sweetness, a little leather. Mm hmm. I'd wear it. Not often, though. Okay. So it's a three for me. It's a three. Yeah. Okay. I think I like this a little bit more than you do. It's like a 3.5 for me. Why do you like it, though? The modern amberiness of it. Because I get the leather, but the leather. When I talk about pure Havana, I talk about the right. amber in there is kind of shiny, kind of soft, kind of, but dry at the same time. Almost gotcha. like leathery, like a leathery amber. I get the same thing from like the Chanel Le Lion. Okay. And there's something about that type of amber that I like. All right. Watch me read the note breakdown. There's not even amber in here. What I'm detecting as a leathery amber is what makes me like this a little bit more. Yeah. Well, you mess around and look at it and there's no leather in it. It's a- uh, uh, Labdanum? Saffron. That too? Yeah. Moving times, I, I think I like this fragrance in terms of the concept. A little new school, a little old school. Mm -hmm. If I smelled this on somebody, I would definitely be intrigued. Yeah, like I'm moving time right? Like um, I'm moving through the times. Got it. Okay. You know? That make a lot of sense then. A little bit of new school, a little bit of old. Come on, boy. We're going yeah. right back. Yeah. I think it's better. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it is better. Yeah. It's okay. It's like a... It's a three, but I wouldn't wear it a lot. I guess it's not a bad fragrance. Mm -hmm. I'm, okay. I'm not intrigued enough bad to be like, <laughs> spray this shit on. Right. Like if I smelt it on somebody, oh, that smell good. Yeah. I want to say I smell peach in it, but it may not even be peach. It's probably something fruity in there. I mean, it's a, again, it's centered around cognac and coffee. So it's probably something in there to. I don't smell no cognac. I don't smell no cognac. Okay. Yeah, it smells good. Do get a little bit of coffee, like hazelnut. Coffee was the only thing, yeah, like a hazelnut latte or something. It was the yeah. only thing I was getting when I first smelled it. It's it, to me, it's a little too faint, though. I would think if you mix cognac and coffee, it'd have a little more. <laughs> right. I can agree with you there, but I will say we both smell a lot of fragrances. Today. That's true. And he ain't got no goddamn palate cleanser. Y'all know me. You want me to get you a palate cleanser real quick? <laughs> if we ain't got more fragrances, my palate don't need to be no cleaner. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. Rookie it's, mistakes. Yeah, you can take it off now. It's bright there. Oh, my fault. Look. <laughs> so, your last one for Cognac and Coffee, what'd you say? Three and a half? Three. Three? Okay. Take our word for Cognac and Coffee with a, <laughs> with a big grain of salt. Listen. Because we've been smelling fragrances all night. Yeah. And this is, yeah. I, I would give this one a chance if you're interested in the notes. Don't take our word on this one. Yeah. Take our word on the rest of them though. Truly. Definitely some interesting fragrances in yep. here. I would say my personal favorites are probably by the Yuzu Grove yep. and 
Um, the Shades of Seduction, the Dreamwoods. I think those are the first three that we sprayed and those are my three favorites. What yeah. about you? We got to at the end, it was like, got you. And I don't know if that's just because we smelled a lot of fragrances. It could be, but I feel like we were picking up some similarities in yeah. some of the, the, the darker fragrance. I don't know what's giving off that Marker vibe, you know, but peace. <laughs>